fibro adenoma. It is the most important topic for the board examination. Before moving towards the gross morphology and histological features of the fibro adenoma, let we discuss the basic of the fibro adenoma. Fibro adenoma is basically, as the name indicates, derived from two words fibro and adenoma. The fibro because there is the fibroblastic stroma in this tumor and the adenoma because there is the epithelium line glandular structures that are seen in it. It is actually the benign tumor of the female and it is the most common benign tumor. As it is a benign tumor there are less risk or no risk of carcinoma development. As you can clearly see in the picture there is the separate structure that is the fibroadenoma seen in the breast. It is seen in the women of 20s and 30s which is a very young age. It is frequently multiple and bilateral. Multiple because there are seen multiple nodules in the fibroadenoma. Bilateral it may occur in both of the breast. It is a palpable mass in the young woman. This is the differentiating feature of fibroadenoma or the benign tumor from the carcinoma. The carcinoma are basically impalpable. In older women, the fibroadenoma may appear as clustered cl calcifications. These clustered calcifications appear because of the low level of estrogen in the older woman. The fibroadenoma is hormonally responsive that is estrogen level may cause changes in the size of the fibroadenoma the increase in the estrogen level may cause the increase in the size of the fibroadenoma that is seen in menstrual cycle or due to the lactational changes during the pregnancy so the fibroadenoma may regress or calcify after the menopause let we move on to gross morphological features of fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma vary in size from 1 cm to 10 cm, that is it may involve most of the breast. It appears as a solid, solitary, discrete, mobile mass. Solitary because it is an isolated structure. Discrete because it may appear as a separate entity. Mobile mass, you can easily pinch the fibroadenoma lump and can easily move it. It, it may appear as well circumscribed rubbery grayish white nodules. There are slit like spaces that are often seen in it. On the cut section you may see it as the tan white structure. This is a picture taken from the Big Robin's pathology. In the picture A you can clearly see the fibroadenoma appear as a separate structure on the mammogram. It is a well circumscribed and discrete structure. As you can clearly see and clearly differentiate the fibroadenoma structure from the rest of the normal tissue of the breast. Here the second photo is actually the cut section of the fibroadenoma. Here you can clearly differentiate the gray white nodule from the rest of the normal tissue. Here it is the fibroadenoma and this is the normal structure or fat of the breast. Here the second photo is taken from the internet. You can clearly appreciate the tan white structure, the tan white tumor. You can clearly differentiate the fibroadenoma from the rest of the fat or the breast here is another picture taken from the internet. You can clearly differentiate the multiple nodules of the fibroadenoma. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on one side and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the other side. Now let me discuss the histopathological features of fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma is basically a biphasic tumor. That is it consists of two components. One is the loose fibroblastic stroma and the second is the duct-like epithelium line glands that are seen in it. It is the stromal cells that are neoplastic and that divides and may lead to tumor formation. 
slit-like spaces can easily be seen in the histopathological picture of fibroadenoma. Two patterns of growth are seen in the fibroadenoma. One is the pericanalicular pattern and the second is the intracanalicular pattern. But these two patterns are of no significance. In pericanalicular pattern of the growth of the fibroadenoma, the epithelium may be surrounded by the stroma. And in intracanalicular pattern, you can clearly see the epithelium is compressed by the stroma. Here in both of the pictures, the pattern of the growth is intracanalicular. In older women, the stroma becomes hyalinized and epithelium is atrophic. As we have told you, the, in older women, there is the less level of the estrogen that may lead to the atrophy of the epithelium and hyalinization of the stroma. Now let we discuss the pictures one by one. This is the picture taken from the big robin or the medium robin pathology. Here you can clearly see the stroma. Here. This is the stroma which is actually neoplastic. These stroma cells are actually neoplastic and they divide and may lead to the fibroadenoma development. And this is the epithelium lined gland. Here you can clearly differentiate many glands that are lined by the epithelium and they appear as the slit-like spaces. Here you can clearly differentiate the fibrous capsule which make fibroadenoma separated from the rest of the normal tissue. Here is the normal tissue. This is basically the intracanalicular pattern of the fibroadenoma. Here is the second picture taken from the pathoma. You can clearly differentiate the stroma of the fibroadenoma and these are the epithelium lined glands and here is the fibrous capsule. You can clearly differentiate the fibrous capsule. You will always see this fibrous capsule in the histopathological slide of the fibroadenoma because it differentiate the fibroadenoma from the normal tissue. Here is the normal tissue. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you will find this video helpful, productive and practical. Hey warriors, be productive and like, share and comment the video. Subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update from Morphopath.